So Diana just recently got elected. And in typical Future 77 fashion, I made another stupid bet. Wait a minute, that's the wrong screenshot. I, I never said that, by the way, that you didn't see anything. Yeah, I, I might have said if I dropped Chimera this event, I would get a Chimera weapon. And can you guess what I dropped this morning? Nah, I'm just kidding. My RNG is nowhere even close to the required amount to drop Chimera. I mean, my RNG has gotten so terrible to the point where I can't even drop Sorrows. But yeah, anyways, even though I didn't even drop Chimera, I'm still going to be getting my first ever Chimera weapon because I've really, really been wanting to do this for quite a while. And now is probably the best time because Diana's in and Chimera prices are down quite a bit. So yeah, today I'm going to be replacing the soul eater on my claymore here with chimera this is going to cost like both of my kidneys and my left lung but you know what it should be worth in the end at least that's the hope also i just want to say real quick that currently i'm in a race with my absolute giga chad rival future 77 we're racing to see who can hit 30 000 subscribers first and we are officially over halfway in the race which i just wanted to thank you guys so so much for but yeah unfortunately we are still lagging behind quite a bit in the race as you can clearly see here so yeah subscribing and liking would really really help me at a ton of Mary speed him and anyways enjoy the video i'll say yeah, i spent like 700 million coins just for this one video so yeah it would really really mean a lot to me if you guys could at least consider liking and subscribing Alrighty, boys here we go i got eight chimera books right in here and yes i'm only going to be doing chimera 4 because chimera 5 is like 1.5 billion coins and yeah i don't really have that right now hold up how much could i even sell this for uh dude 660 million coins oh that's a pain well well, here we go boys bro if i miscombine even one of these books that's literally like 80 million down the drain but yeah, anyways and there we go boys chimera 4 has been acquired oh bro that looks so beautiful bro this is actually going to be so fun to test with but anyways 179 levels my first ever chimera weapon in three in two in one and ba bang there it is boys chimera 4 dark claymore oh dude this thing is actually so beautiful though anyways it's finally time to go ahead and test this out here i've been wanting to test the chimera weapon pretty much since the enchantment first even released anyways let's go ahead and equip my level 200 golden dragon here also if you're wondering how i suddenly have a level 200 golden dragon I grinded for it. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. I just borrowed it for now from a friend with a little bit of clat. But yeah, anyways, now let's just go ahead and I guess Silky would probably be the best. I mean, considering we're getting 560 strength. I, yeah, I think uh, I think Silky should do fine. Also, I just realized I'm getting 40% bonus attack speed from this. I'm at 95% bonus attack speed, excuse me. Anyways, putting on my three-fourths crimson here. Golden Dragon, Claymore, and I'm doing 1.3 almost 1.35 million damage yeah that's definitely a lot better than the like 1.1 mil i was dealing with my soul eater bro you're telling me chimera 4 literally just added 250,000 damage Alrighty, hold up before i go straight into lcm because obviously that's where i'm probably going to be using this weapon the most i just want to see what this is like real quick against uh against blade soul here so let me actually hold on let me just real quick let me just do this and get 100 bonus attack speed and then we do this and uh yeah yeah that's that's pretty good you know uh that's um i don't i don't really know what to uh what to say about that except i just did 48 million damage in like eight seconds i mean obviously rcm is just a bajillion times better regardless but still that's uh that's pretty impressive man also i have zero clue why but specifically against blade soul my tiger is actually doing like ever so slightly more damage than my g drag i think that's probably just due to the fact that blade soul has like a high damage resistance and so g drag really doesn't increase your single hit damage by that much i mean yeah look at that, bro I, I just absolutely shredded that thing i mean it could just be my imagination but i've tested a couple times and it feels like tiger is doing like ever so slightly more dps okay well i'll uh, thank you past me but future me is here and i just did a quick comparison i just went ahead and put both these clips side by side the one on the left is with the tiger pet and the one on the right is with the g drag and it does actually seem like tiger is doing like ever so slightly more damage i have like zero clue why but if anybody could tell me i would really really appreciate it actually hold up i wonder what my um what my magic find is looking like with this setup 216 percent that actually isn't too too terrible man i mean obviously if i wanted to like optimally ghost grind i would just get full magic five veteran crimson with the chimera five day axe but yeah still 216 percent ain't too terrible anyways now i think it's actually time to go ahead and test this with lcm here so i guess we can just go ahead and test this on maybe like an m5 all right so right off the bat i'm doing like 
excuse me, did that just say 160 million? Uh, yeah, that's, um, that's actually pretty decent, bro. I mean, obviously, if I were a higher cat, I'd be dealing a lot more. But still, that ain't too, too terrible, man. Anyways, angry archaeologist. And yeah, okay, I, oh, that is, um, yeah, um, that, that thing just got absolutely annihilated. Hold up, I'm actually real quick go ahead and get all the blessings and everything. And then I'm gonna come back and test damage again. So uh, yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Alrighty, and there we go, boys. Now I have every singular blessing. And now, moment of truth, we're doing four... Excuse me, bro. We're we're about to pass 500 mil. Ex what? Um, that's uh, that's a small amount of damage. <laughs> um, that's a tiny bit of damage. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, of course, if my gear was actually like completely max, and if I was actually a bit higher kata, I would probably actually be able to hit integer limit. But still, I mean, 500 million damage regardless. That's pr that's pretty good, man. Also, if you're wondering why I'm doing this on an M3, it's definitely not because I made it all the way and cleared an entire M5 and then died to scarf got salty so i went and did an m3 because it was 10 times easier like what are you talking about bro honestly ne never happened me personally i have never died in this entire game just don't worry about my death count all right that's not important anyways dude i like i literally like three tap the guardians excuse me or actually it's not quite a three tap it's very close to three tap though literally like two damage away all right get over here professor uh yeah i'm dealing like 50 million a hit right now all right well i think this is the part where i die and cut it off from the video because I don't want to show how skill shoot I didn't die you're gonna have to believe me on that one I, I didn't die also bro I, I just realized look at how incredibly unbalanced my strength and crit damage are I have 2,000 more strength than I do crit damage that is actually kind of insane and out of here honestly LCM is actually one of the funnest classes in my opinion although I still actually need to get my cat level up a bit so I can actually like not die in two hits but anyways as for the final test here I want to go ahead and do a quick 30 minute ghost grinding test to see about how much I can make here so before before I had Chimera, I was getting around 15 millish an hour. So uh, yeah, hopefully I can beat that by a bit. And uh, yeah, I'll be back in 30 minutes. Well, anyways, the 30 minutes are up now, and contrary to what I said in the intro, I actually did drop a few sorrows and a pretty decent amount at that. So in total, I made about, I made around 10-ish million coins, which is around 20 million an hour. So that's actually not too, too terrible. But yeah, anyways, that's where I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. Did Chimera live up to its expectations? Absolutely. Am I ever gonna make the 700 mil back? Probably not, but you know what? It's fine. We, we don't focus on that part, all right? That's not important, all right? At least I can go flex this on my entire guild now, all right? But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. It was a bit of a different style, so please, please do let me know what you thought of it. But anyways, I got some really big videos coming up that will drain my purse even more than this video did, so you know that that's going to be fun. So yeah, I hope you guys have fantastic rest of your days, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!